Hola everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I did realize that it's been a couple of weeks <laughs> since I did a chit chat get ready with me type style video. We all know me, I love a good chit chat get ready with me. But I also have a lot of a brand new drugstore makeup here I'd be wanting to try and test out for you guys. Some of these products are just new and then some of these products are just new to myself. I think I'm going to start on my base makeup today because I'm not too sure what I'm doing with my eyes today because I have one of the wee elf eyeshadow palettes. I've heard Kathy lights talk about these quite a few times now so I obviously had to go on and try them for myself. First of all we're going to prime the skin. So I have the brand new e.l.f. Luminous Potty Primer. As we all know the Poreless Potty Primer has been so popular and so raved about. I absolutely love this primer. As you can see I've dug quite a bit of a hole into it so I just thought that this one here would be pretty interesting. I don't really know what I was expecting to be honest but I have noticed that there's like literal particles of glitter through it. I honestly absolutely love these primers. They are so so good. They just kind of feel like a very very rich moisturiser but like I don't find them to be oily or slippery or anything. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. I actually really like that. Sorry for the extreme zoom. I'm not too sure if you can see that or not but it just gave like the nicest wee sheen to my skin. I was kind of worrying that I whenever I had noticed that there was like literal like we flex like really 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 finely milled we glitter particles in here because I don't want or I didn't want my skin or my face to look glittery like I didn't want this to look like say a liquid highlight or you know a primer like that but it is actually looking so so good on the skin like you can definitely see wow yeah like you can definitely see like especially whenever I smile like around this area you can definitely see it on my forehead it just looks really really nice and healthy like it's not shiny it's not oily it's not glittery but it's just nice and sheeny and very very nice so far though I just like them both as good as each other I didn't notice any difference in consistency they still feel the same they blend nicely into the skin the same um obviously the only difference in them is the finish that they give to the skin this is actually a brand new foundation stick from makeup obsession and it's their quick stick base conceal and contour so I got the shade L06 I really like the packaging on it it's pretty pretty cute actually let me see. Ooh. I'm happy enough with that I suppose but I'm just going to try and put a wee bit more on just to see how it builds up and just make it a wee bit more full coverage the way I like it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was that face? It's definitely very shiny but nonetheless looking at the finish of that foundation with this wee foundation stick being only six points it actually is very very nice it definitely is um i probably could build up so it would be a wee bit more full coverage but i'm not going to because i just feel like i don't really need to can't be bothered either to be honest but yeah like you can just see like how shiny it is that it just seems to emphasize these lines here that's why I do not like anything that's too juicy or that's too dewy or anything on my skin because I just kind of find that I just look double my edge basically because these lines in here just seem to get really emphasized but yeah it's a really really nice foundation in terms of the coverage and the blendability and if you are somebody that does love a dewy finish but for myself no <laughs> how shiny my base is right now. <laughs> Get me powder now! I'm going to quickly conceal and concour. Cream contour. <laughs> I am so so excited for this concealer and it's the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers Concealer with Coconut Extract and Vitamin C E A. Blah, blah, blah. Now I'll show you the packaging first. It is honestly so so adorable. It is the cutest ever. And then the applicator is also a heart. I'll show you. How cute is that? Is that not just the cutest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> I also got a darker shade in the same concealer. I had to. I wonder if my makeup looked like hearts underneath our eyes. <gasps> oh, look! Oh, it looks like wee bunnies. So far, I'm not really expecting much in terms of coverage or anything, so I'm just gonna blend this out. 
Okay, so that actually blends it out. Whoa! <laughs> that actually blends it out really, really easy, but it also has blended out to nothing. Okay, so I ain't mad at that concealer, I have to say. And do you know what the problem is these days? We are so used to a base products like concealers and foundations these days being such full coverage that whenever a foundation or a concealer like isn't full blown heavy duty full coverage straight away, we're just like, oh, that's crap. <laughs> Whenever that's not necessarily the case. Mm, I'm definitely one of those people that do look for really full coverage in concealers and foundations but I also know and I also keep in the back of my mind that not everybody loves like that full kick face, full glam. You know like not everybody wants that finish so you know you obviously need to have products to actually to cater for everybody and also all edges. Like the foundations and concealers that I would love. Somebody that say is 40 years old or 50 years old or even in their late 30s they're not going to wear what I would wear because it's too heavy, too full coverage. Whenever you're testing and trying out certain makeup it is kind of nice to keep everybody else in mind so far I know for a fact it's not going to be like my favorite concealer because the coverage isn't what I look for in a concealer but nonetheless it's concealed it's brightened the tiniest tiniest wee bit um but obviously again not everybody likes a really really bright under eye but it's fine like it honestly looks Fine. I'm just going to do a wee bit first of all just to see the colour and see how it blends out. Absolutely love this contour. Like, yeah, I really, really do like that. It's just nicely warmed up the skin. So I've also just finished the back end and I used the Ilse Translucent Powder. So far I am actually really, really happy with my base makeup. And I have this wee scent spray and this is from again I Heart Revolution and it is their brand new Watermelon G Makeup Fixing Spray. They also had a pineapple one. I'm, I can't actually remember what the pineapple one claimed to do but I just picked the G one because it was watermelon. And it smells so good. <laughs> the mister looks a wee bit aggressive but we'll see. Oh god, I hate doing this. I hate this. Fuck. <laughs> what do we do now? Highlighter. So I actually have two brand new highlighters I want to talk about. So I'm not too sure what one I want to use first. I have these two here. I think I might use this one first. And it's the Miss Lynn Strobing Powder. So this is in this packaging here. I got this off Beauty Bay. I got it on their Black Friday sale. You know, I really didn't think much of this highlight. That's actually why it took me so long to actually use it. Because, I don't know, it just, it looked nicer on the website and then whenever I got it, I was just a wee bit deflated by it. But, that's actually very, very nice. It kind of has like a wee bit of a peachy pink shift to it. I can definitely see that on my cheek. You just won't be able to see it. <laughs> Stupid camera. I am absolutely loving this actually. That is very, very nice. I don't actually think I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution one. <gasps> am I using one highlighter today? Oh my. I'm a changed woman, guys. I have two blushes here because I'm preparing for one to screw up. <laughs> so this is actually new. Well, as far as I know, this is pretty new and it's the Primer Infused Blush from e.l.f. and it is in the shade Always Peachy. Now, I love me a good peachy blush, but this is just downright orange and I sometimes find that whenever I apply a really, really peachy orange toned blush and then I go in and bronze, my cheeks just look too orange, if that makes sense. So I always like to sway towards like a like a peachy coral. So it has a wee bit of a pink tone in there and also it's a wee bit more peachy. But this is just downright orange. <laughs> I also have the e.l.f. It literally just says e.l.f. and the shade name at the back. It's in the shade Shy. It's just like a wee nice shimmery pink toned blush. So I'm going to try this one first. And if it is a wee bit too orange on my cheeks, I might top it with this we want here. Hmm. Like it's nice but I can definitely just see so far it just looks as if I'm bronzing so I might just stop there. 
and just going with the pink one now. Talking about pink, I don't even know if you guys can see. Can you just see my ponytail? But look how much my hair has washed out. Like I was literally like bright pink. No, I wasn't even bright pink. It was like more pastel pink. But this is actually the second time I've coloured this. I had filmed that video on the Wednesday and I had put it up that night and then by the Friday I had washed my hair and I am going to put a picture up here if I can or somewhere on the screen of what my hair looked like after one wash the first time I coloured it. It was literally back to blonde again so then that's why I actually coloured it again and again one wash and this is how it looks like. It is so shit. <laughs> now to bronze, I'm going to be checking this BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer. But again, I got this in the Beauty Bay sale on Black Friday and it is a satin finish bronzer and it is in the shade Coco Cutie. Um, hmm, I'm not too sure how it's coming off on camera but in person it looks um dark. I always do this with bronzers. I sometimes forget, like, Emma, you're white. <laughs> you a white bitch. <laughs> I have bought myself a new wig and I am, I am obsessed with this wig. I'm not too sure whether to wear it today or not, although I probably will. Let's just get real. But I think in tomorrow's video, I'm probably going to do a video on my wigs. Um wig <laughs> showing you guys how I apply it like how I pluck the front of it like do the baby hairs um how I do the parting how I keep it in place how I secure it bloody bloody blah so I have been asked I think like literally by three people by this point <laughs> Just keeping it real. I'm not going to be one of those people that's like, so many people have asked me to do this. Whenever realistically two people asked me. But I think three people by this stage have asked me to do it. And it's actually a good idea. So I think I might just include it in like a chit chat, get ready with me. So do like my hair and makeup all in the one video. Okay boys and girls. So this is what I came up with so far. I'm not yet finished. I'm wanting to do something a wee bit more extra. But anyway, I'm just going to be taking this shade first of all on a Sigma Detailed Diffused Crease Brush. So I know it probably would have been best if I had done this eye first and actually done like a wee bit of a first impression on this palette. But basically my first impressions were how pigmented these shadows are. Elf is so killing it at the minute with their makeup. These shadows, I will actually swatch them before I get into the tutorial. They honestly feel like high-end shadows. Like, look at them. Like, look at them mattes. And look at them shimmers. They are honestly fabulous. Look at my dodgy ass finger. Like, see this finger? The nail grows to the side. So I'm just going to go into this shade here. I'm just going to be focusing this shade just within the crease just creating that, that C shape just within the crease. And I'm just going to go in circular motions just around the edges just to soften them a wee bit. I'm still going to take that same brush and then I'm going to go into this shade here. And I'm just going to blend out that darkest shade with this wee shade here. So instead of blending back and forth, I always like to blend in stages. So I'll always start to blend the inner corner first of all. And then just gradually work my way around instead of blending from back and forth, back and forth. I find that you, you, the shadow can go a wee bit patchy quite quick. Whereas if you just concentrate on the blending on a certain area, first of all, you can really get that perfect. And then you can start to gradually just work your way around. I'm just now going to go back to the inner corner. I'm going to clean that brush off on myself. <laughs> and I'm just going to start and just tickle at the edges, just like really, really lightly. I'm now going to go back into this shade here. 
still on that same brush and I'm now just going to go in and deepen up that crease just making sure it's stamped well into the crease. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and again just going really lightly I'm just going to diffuse those edges a wee bit. Okay. I'm now going to take my Helen E Fix Gel, mainly focusing in the centre where there is no shadow. And then you just want to pat it slightly until it becomes slightly sticky. I was going to use this shade, but then I just thought I would just go on and with this shade here, just for the sake of it. I'm going to switch brushes again to like a wee short shader brush. I do apologise if this is very close. And oh shit, <laughs> itchy nose. And then into this shade again. I'm just going to get a wee bit of pigment there. We're just going to hit the inner and outer corner. Just to deepen up that area a bit more. So what I'm doing now is I'm basically just trying to blend this shimmer shade into that crease shade because, I don't know, I just don't like whenever a shimmer shade just looks as if it's just plonked onto the lid or the inner corner. You always like to blend your shimmer shades or your glitters in some shape or form and it just looks more seamless instead of something that's just looked as if it's just been slapped on. Really do want that yellow gold shade to pop a wee bit more. So I'm going to go on in with the ColourPop uh -huh, Honey Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to be taking this shade in the centre here. So it's kind of like a pressed glitter. So I'm just going to take in this on a flat brush like so. I'm going to give the brush a wee bit of a spritz. So I'm just going to press this just in the centre. See the way it just gives that wee bit of an extra pop from the centre? I'm going to be taking this Colourpop eyeliner and I think I've used this Colourpop eyeliner before but I just haven't used this shade so this is actually the brown Colourpop liner so I just thought that it'd be quite nice with the green tones so um I think we'll wing it out today. Oh the hell? Oh, I don't like that at all. Why is it going like that? Like, see the way there's like literally nothing in the center, and then it's like kind of gathered on the outsides. Okay, so I'm not too sure about this ColourPop eyeliner. I just don't know what was going on there. So I actually went over the eyeliner with this brown shade from the green palette just to smoke out and make it a wee bit more pigmented I suppose. And I just applied my lashes as well and I'm using the Jolie Beauty Summer Lashes. I think they are beautiful. And I was literally just looking in my viewfinder thinking there's something not right. <laughs> And I've just realised that I haven't done my lower lash line um, shadow yet, so we will get round to that, I promise. So eyebrows. Eyebrows I was wanting to do off camera, but because I have a new product, I may as well just finish them off on camera with you guys. And it's literally just the New Revolution Soap Brow. So I've obviously completed my eyebrows, but this is always the last step that I do, so I just thought I would do it with you guys since it's a new product. So... This is what it looks like here. I haven't actually tried soap brows yet and I don't really know what to do. <laughs> okay. I wonder could you actually wash your hands with this? Like is it literal soap? Oh goodness. It smells nice. <laughs> okay so you get like a wee toothbrush that looks as if it belongs to the borrowers. So I'm trying... You know, my nails are literally that long that I can barely hold this properly. So, is it honestly supposed to be this stiff? Or do you have to really, like, rub at it? <laughs> Life is always so much more fun whenever you have a dirty mind. <laughs> no, but seriously, what the hell? Oh, do you know one other thing? Am I supposed to like not have any product through my brows first before applying this? Am I doing this all wrong? Please do let me know. But here it goes. <laughs> I 
Guys, please do let me know in the comment section, do you apply this before you put product through your brows? Or can you use it how I'm using it? Okay, we're just gonna leave it at that. Okay, so that's it for the eyes, and I ended up putting this yellow gold shade just in the center of the lower lash line, just to get yeah, balance out with the top of the lid. So, next up for lips, I haven't got a new lip liner, so I just used my Toffee Pre Mark Lip Liner, but this is the Makeup Revolution Matte Liquid Lipstick, and it's in the shade Piece of Cake. So, I actually got this because I was really, really interested and intrigued to actually try this and test out, see what it's like, especially formula-wise, because because I do remember whenever Makeup Revolution first came out with their very first liquid lipsticks, their formula was <laughs> probably one of the worst liquid lipstick formulas I have ever, ever tried. So I'm really, really excited to see what their new formula is like. Let's see. The formula is very, very thin. I was zooming down a bit. Like, it's that thin that it's... It's not even... It's pigmented, it's there, but it's... It's patchy. The colour's nice. That's a plus, but... No, I don't know I like that at all. And then I also have a lip gloss I haven't used yet. I really hate whenever you can see my light switch for some reason. <laughs> this is the P. Louise lip gloss, um, Hola lip gloss. It doesn't seem to have a name or is the name Hola. Whatever. Ooh. Let's give this a go. Nice. And it's not to say that the liquid lipstick from Makeup Revolution was very dry and looking. It was honestly, it was fine. Couldn't fault it that way. But yeah, like that lip gloss has just kind of made the lips come more to life, let's just say. I think I'm now just going to go and change my hair. <laughs> Will I show you what my hair actually looks like at the minute before I put my wig on? It's honestly the worst hairstyle I think I've ever rocked in my entire life. Like, look at the state of this. My roots are so bad. My hair needs washed from the weekend and yeah. Like, how disgusting is that? <laughs> okay, guys, so this is my new wig. I am so obsessed. I'm not too sure if it looks wiggy or not, but I do still need to sort out this situation here. So please do bear with me if you do think that it does actually look a wee bit wiggy. So anyway, guys, this completes this tutorial. This is the completed makeup look. Please do let me know if any of you guys have actually tried any of these products yourselves. What you thought? Did you like them? Everything will be linked to it down below in the description box. Don't forget to follow me on <laughs> Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. Thank you all so, so much for watching again. <laughs> and I hope to see you all in my next video.